my name is Juleen Allen, Executive Director of Women for Action, Managing Editor of Women for Action Magazine. This is a book response on George by Alex Gino. George by Alex Gino, I love the book so much. It's about a transgender girl by the name of George. She knows she's a girl, but she's born with male genitals. And George is going through some of the challenges one might face when they know they're one thing, but they know everyone else expect them to be something else. And so there isn't an in internal challenge with George because she knows exactly she's a girl and she wants other people to know that she's a girl, but she's not quite sure how they're going to respond once they know that she's a girl. And initially there's some um, resistance from you know, her mother. And so that relationship is a bit complicated initially. The great thing about George is it teaches us how an environment could respond and embrace a child who might be going through something such as this. And so there are a number of ways to respond. Um, there, you can, an environment can be negative, resistant, hostile. Well, George eventually finds out that the more she started to actually communicate that she's a girl, the more people start to embrace that she's actually a girl. I think it's such an important read for young people adolescence all the way up until um, I would even say college years. Any age group that is facing some sort of pressure in their environment, um, those years where children or young people are attempting to find out who they are in the world or find their place in the world. I also think it's a great bu bridge builder for young people to learn how to embrace those that are different George is an important read for parents and faculty to understand what might be going on in the minds of children like George, to connect with and humanize their experiences and understand some of the challenges. I think George is an important read of our day. If we are to create, plant seeds for a world that consists of equity and equality. I really think that it starts with parents being more open and receptive. Parents and adults um, alike, um, educators being more open and receptive. And when parents and educators are more open and receptive, then we're teaching children to be more open and receptive. Thank you for watching.